a customer. Welcome. Can I help you? Nothing's for sale. Hello, my name is Joe. Welcome to my Pez room. What started this Pez thing, this ridiculous collection, is that my dad, you know, every year around Christmas, Easter, all the holidays, they would give me a Pez dispenser. It was always the same old Pez dispenser. Every holiday, you got the Santa, the Easter Bunny, and the Valentine's Heart, same thing, over and over and over. And then I told my dad, hey, why don't you get me something different? So, a week went by, and then all of a sudden I started seeing a Pez on my dresser. I'm like, where did this come from? So I put it aside. Next week, another one showed up on my dresser. So I put that one to the side. And I finally asked my dad, "Where? what are you doing? He said, oh, you said you wanted different Pez dispensers. So I was like, you know, this is pretty cool. Nobody collects Pez dispensers. No one. So I went to all the stores I could go to and bought all the different Pez dispensers that I could find, which weren't many, because they didn't make many at that time. And that's when I started. This all started about when I was 14 or 15 years old. And then it just got out of control from there. My family thinks I'm nuts. I mean, come on, who wouldn't think I'm nuts collecting Pez? But there's a lot of nutty people out there, now isn't there? My favorite Pez piece that I have in my collection, let me show you. I gotta actually pull it out here. Maybe. It's my Jimity Cricket. That I've been wanting for a long time. But I only wanted it in the package. So that's my favorite Pez dispenser. What makes Jiminy Cricket so special? I just like how he looks. I mean, he's really not special, but I like how he looks, and he's mint and cello. I go to Pez conventions every year. I've been going since, uh, what was my first? Since the Peter, elect Peter Pez for president. This was my first real convention where I stayed. It was July 20th through the 22nd, 2000. That was my first real stay tonight, have fun, meet all the nutty people convention. People always ask me, how do you know what to buy? Well, anything that says Pez on it, I can't, <laughs> I buy it. The rarest piece that I own is in that case, it's an actual groom they made for a wedding in the 1960s. The one that's in the case, case. Wacky Wobbler. Is it the Wacky Wobbler? No, it's not the Wacky Wobbler. <laughs> <laughs> so which one is it? <laughs> there you go, on. Oh, yeah. It looks like a groom to me. It's this guy right here. Oh, okay. All right. And then they, of course, remade them because they got to remake everything. So. That's the original, and these are the remakes. I yeah, know she doesn't even have feet. Yeah, there's no feet. So in 1927, Edward Haas came up with the first peppermint. That's what started this whole thing. 
The peppermints actually came in a metal tin. There was no dispenser yet, but it came in a metal tin. I probably can't get it out. Here we go. So something similar to this. Maybe not the same design, because they didn't have technology back then. But it was just a mint and a tin. That was around 1927. Now, Edward Haas was an anti-smoker. So the whole purpose of the mint was pop a mint instead of smoking. So that's when he came up with the regular Pez dispenser. That came out around 1947, I believe. And it was this dispenser over here, which looked like a big lighter. So instead of lighting your cigarette, you would pop a mint. So that's, that's a regular Pez dispenser. Looks like a big. Well, then it came over to America, but it wasn't doing so hot. It didn't sell much, so they had to come up with a way to sell it. So let's pop a head on it. So they popped the head on it to sell it to children, and it took off after that. What the heck were we talking about? Pez? <laughs> I'm sorry, I got so lost up in here. <laughs> Don't throw this. <laughs> this is Casper. What I like about Casper is he's a die cut, which means that they stamp Casper out in the sleeve of the stem. So you can actually see the inner sleeve, which is red, through the hole there, the holes. But that's a Casper die cut, no feet. He, he's a favorite too. They're all my favorites. My collection of my roosters. I love my roosters. The full body Santas. Full body Santa there. Here's one of the first Santas that came out. He's not the first one, but. That's a Pez dispenser? Is yeah. The full the, body one? This full body one's a Pez dispenser. Same thing. Head flips open like that it just has a full body it's pretty sweet I wish they would make Pez like that one of my favorites is the roosters I, I love my roosters I don't know why Cock -a -doodle -doo! this is a rooster with no feet now the older ones have no feet and they all have patent numbers so the smaller the patent number it starts off with one two the more rare they are, harder to find. And then in the 80s, they came out with feet. So you got no feet with feet. Feet are kind of nice because they don't fall over. Some of them still don't have feet. Which ones? The Valentine hearts. They don't have feet. Because why would you put feet on a heart? Why would you put feet on that? You wouldn't do that. No. So, Valentines don't have hearts, or they have hearts, but they don't have feet. Uh, trucks obviously don't have feet either, because why would you stand it up like that? It's a truck, you roll it. Rolling, rolling with my homies. What else we got over here? Let's see, let's get up into this. Some older ones, you got my Annie in a package over here. That's pretty cool. Big Pez. I don't collect many of the Big Pez because they take up too much space, but these ones came from Disney World. Right there, I got these ones from Disney World. You could only buy them from Disney World. So on our honeymoon, when I got married, boom, we went to Florida and got these Pez from that display case. There's two of them, four, well, actually there's four of them. They're missing now. They're not in there no more. And then you got the big banks, you got the soaps, you got this guy hitting everything with his head. These all came recently. My parents were nice enough to pick these up from the Pez Visitor Center. So they were nice enough to buy those for me. Really, I told them, you need to go to the Pez Visitor Center since you're out there. 
and get me these. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how I roll. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this this little clipping back here. What are you doing? Does anybody know who this guy is? Do you know who this guy is? If you know who this guy is, write it down in the comments below. But who are you and why are you in my room? Crazy. All right. This here is the first clipping that my wife, actually it's a debate, whether my wife told me or my best friend Greg told me, but I got this clipping and that's when I was like, are you kidding me? I'm not the only one who collects these things. I was like, I, I get rid of my baseball cards because too many people collect baseball cards and they're going down in value. So I start this Pez collection up thinking I am one of the kind. But, like I said earlier, I'm not the only nutty one out there. So, I went to that convention. I didn't stay the night, I just went to the convention. And I was like, overwhelmed. I could not believe how many old Pez were actually out there. And then I was like, well I need to, I need to get three jobs because these things cost 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars. Like, ah, oh, I can't afford this. I cannot afford this collection. But you know what? I I ditched a wife, I ditched my house, I sold everything and bought all these Pez. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you gotta check out Pezzamania.com. Register, go to the convention. It's every year, Independence, Ohio, not far away. You need to go. It's for a good charity, Gliding with the Stars. All the proceeds go to them. It's very, fun convention you need to get out there and you can see my nutty face out there too and all the other nutty people out there all right um actually Pezzamania the convention actually started in Mentor Ohio this is the second Pezzamania shirt I wish I was there but I wasn't so at least I got a shirt now I just need one more shirt I need the first Pezzamania shirt so these are all my Pezzamania shirts here, I'll show you my first convention. That, that's the Elect Peter for Pez, Prez, Pezzamania. That's the first one I went to. First shirt I ever got for Pezzamania. But they make all sorts of pet, you know, they make. Who wants to see me put these bad boys on? Woo, look at that. Boxers, they make boxers, they make socks. Over here are some socks. They make everything Pez, you know? They gotta blow up the market with everything. So, us Pezaholics have to buy it. Uh, my good buddy Jim made this for me. I don't know if these batteries might be dying. Oh, figures. Well, he's supposed to light up. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, my buddy Jim made that for me. The Pez head friend. In, in this case, I don't know if there's much glare, but you got some of the Pez boys, pals, Pez pals. There's just so much. Eyewear, they make eyewear, you know. Is that a Pez dispenser? Oh! I guess they made those so people could, uh, buy more or something. All right, that's all. and I even got the display. And then they started Walmart, of course, had to come up with this DVD dispenser thing. So you had to buy the whole thing to get those three dispensers if you wanted the case, the set. All the Pez trucks are out of control, people's different names. So you gotta go to the store or go on the internet, Food Lion Truck, Toys R Us, Craftsman, of course Walmart's in here somewhere. Walgreens. Walmart is the devil. They take over everything. And they even at one time Walmart demanded, Walmart demanded them to put them in smaller packages so they could fit in their little aisleways. Well, that didn't last long, because you don't see that no more. 
We even got some Pez candy cigarettes. No, they're just candy cigarettes. I thought a box would look cool, you know, so I had to buy it. They're not really Pez. Oh, my rooster got out! Put the rooster back in. Don't want them people to get out. Oh! There it goes! <sighs> I'm getting stressed out. Things are falling. Alright. So you got basically what you see here. Oh, here, here's our wedding topper. This was me and my wife's wedding topper. Of course, I had to make a Pez wedding topper. Everything Pez. The deer head's chilling out up there. Did you see that? Did you see the deer head? That was my dad's first deer he caught. So I decorated him with Pez. It looks like a little nose ring thing. Got an exit sign in case of an emergency. All the pets can get out. Um, soap. You feeling a little dirty? Want some Pez orange foaming hand soap? Don't forget about the cereal. We got the cereal. I'm one of a kind because everybody likes to empty their cereal boxes, but if the end of the world comes, I can eat the cereal in this box because it's still in there. So is the popcorn. The pop schools are probably melting. I tried to keep those, but they are probably melting. Um, keep looking around. All the convention. These are all the Pez you get when you go to the convention and register. You get these Pezes. I got tons of them, obviously. I've been going a lot. All right, let's see if I can get this out. What are you doing in my room? Pez gun, they came out and sh after a while they're like, you know what? Doing that is not a good idea. Put a gun in your mouth is not a good idea. So they took them off the market. So they were hard to find. They used to be expensive. And of course, like everything, they found a huge warehouse full of them and they depreciated in value, at least this one. And, uh, uh, you probably can't see it, can you? Oh, the space gun there. Same with the space gun. At least that one's in the package. So that makes the value more because it's in the package. So that's the Pez gun. So they got rid of it because they didn't think uh, shooting a, you're a kid in the mouth with a Pez was uh, a good a idea. Yeah. yeah, choking hazard and the fact of, okay, if it was a real gun, uh, don't be sticking it in your mouth. So what I got out, I love these things. These are actually the dies that go into the machine that presses the candy. The, the sugar comes through and boom, it stamps the candy. And that's where you get your, I don't know if they're upright, but that's where you get your, the Pez stamping inside the little candy there. So these are pretty cool. I was happy when I got these. Interesting. Don't ruin them, right? Those are cool. But I'm making a mess in my room. soft rubber heads is it Christmas time <laughs> yay new pets uh, give me some fading pudding now give me some fading pudding and give it right now I'm really not on crack I'm serious <laughs> what is that Joe what is that like was that your phone or yeah <laughs> I thought you turned it off I thought you turned your phone no that was my my home phone Oh. Of course I have a home phone in here. And it plays 
bring me some piggy pudding? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>